What's going on guys? Welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 17. If you missed the previous episode, there's a playlist link in the description down below for you to go and check that out. We're sneaking through the uh, the trees and the snow here on our way over to the trader. That's our ultimate objective of today's episode and also try to figure out where we're going to establish base. Um, which I'm assuming is going to be in this city more than likely. Because uh, there's a city right here. As you can tell. Holy crap, what is that building? A lot of new buildings to explore. There are also there are, blah, 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 English. There's also like dungeon buildings, quote unquote. I saw a uh, tweet from Games for Kicks, and he was talking about how there's certain buildings that just have like extra loot and stuff. Another pistol? Oh, am I getting lucky, huh? So I have this one, and then I also have the 15 bullets in this one. Okay, so that's nice. But this is the trader here. But we can't go into the trader until later. I'm a poet, and I didn't even know it. But what's nice is there's actually a full-blown city right here next to the trader. So at the end of the day, what we can do is uh, live really close nearby. Because if there's a city here, and there's tons of things to loot that we haven't obviously looted yet, then we should be good to go. Oh, it got a little close there. That's good, though. It popped me to the other side. There was a bunch of zombies approaching me, so. Um, can I check out this house a little bit? And see what's going on in there. I want to live nearby. Is that the... That's not the military base I was trying to break into earlier, was it? No, because there's a house super close to it. So we'll check that out in the morning, I guess. But for the time being, I feel like I should probably clear this house here. And maybe live out of there. For the time being. Just put a chest down. It's super close uh, to this guy here. So if we get attacked by a roaming horde, we can run inside for, for safety. And this building looks absolutely insane. I don't know what's going on there. But I bet there's going to be goodies in there. But let's check this place out. Um, this is the stereotypical house. I think nothing's changed here. This is the one with the floor that you can break for special items and whatnot. This is the first nighttime we've dealt with so far. Is that like scorching biome or is that just fire that I'm hearing? Okay. We kind of need to craft an axe. I don't think I have any wood for. Go punch one of these real quick. What's burning over here, though? Oh, so there's a burning biome right here as well. Punch this down so we can get an axe real quick. There's like a lot of cross sections of different biomes in this area, which is kind of nice. We have snow, grass. I mean, every single biome besides the crappy biome where the uh, center city used to exist. I just call it the crappy biome. Um, should I go through the door? Go through the window. We can always block it off and then still keep the door. Even though we can't go in and out of it because it's locked. Alright. Oh, he's on me. I missed. Please stop. Please stop. Oh god. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh. All right. Nighttime is absolutely no joke. Oh my god. So those couple of bu bullets that I shot off attracted that entire group of zombies. Wow. All right. So bullets are not your friend at all. Dear Lord. Okay. This is where you're going to put me? For realty? Why am I so slow? I feel so slow. Please leave me alone. Are you open yet? No? Maybe I can get it to teleport me to the backside where the zombie will leave me alone. There we go. He has no idea where I went now. Oof. We're down to 62 wellness. I want to check out... My, uh, my upgrades. Because, dear lord, are we struggling boys and girls, but I think that's how Solo's gonna go. It's gonna be a struggle until we get ourselves established somewhere. Which I think this is the best place to establish myself, so I'm not too worried, but I'm kind of more concerned about what kind of melee weapon we should get into that's a bit stronger. We should also check our skills real quick. I definitely want to get into melee. Lucky looter. Looting is 10% faster. And narrow down buried treasure by 10 meters. Okay. Lucky Looter wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Wrecking Crew, increased power attack uh, power attack damage of 
Reduce stamina usage by 10%. Flurry of blows. Specialize in beating the tar out of your opponents in a furious flurry of quick strikes. All right. Power attacks to knock foes down. That's actually super useful. I'm going to buy that. That's very useful. Um, how many skill points do we have? We have five skill points. So we can actually add a lot into this. 20 cents next attacks on heavy weapons. With heavy weapons, but that's not heavy blows. Skull crushers, blows to the head, do 25% more damage. Yes, 100%. And I'm going to do the stamina one, and then we can work on maybe pack mule. Probably would be smart, pretty early game. And one HP with every 30 seconds for natural healing. Yes, that will be also quite important. So is it daytime now? I thought I heard the music. It's got to be daytime now. We can't go in here until it's either 6 or 8 a.m. But we can work our way back to my body to get my stuff. And then clear out that house now that it's daytime. Hopefully. I mean, there's a chance that we might not be able to still. But I'm very glad that I got my bed off real quick. I even picked it up and I was like, I'm going to place this right before I die. That way I don't have to run all the way back. So at least we're where we want to be, right? And I'm not shooting this pistol again because dear lord did that attract the entire universe. All right, let's check this out now. Let's get in here. It got broken down by the zombie, which is nice. There we go. Alright, he's down and out. Not sure what zombie's punching in the back. That sounds like an quite the evil zombie. Oh wow, we're actually doing some heavy damage now with that 25% extra headshot damage. A working forge? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, we're good. We have a working forge in here, guys. <gasps> That's super dope. That's actually super dope to find. Alright. Um, we gotta kill big guy. And I also noticed that zombies, like... They hit pretty hard now, and they keep hitting you. There we go. I'm definitely going to keep increasing my melee. And as we get better melee weapons, this should get better as well. Alright, so we got three zombies here. We got two kind of weak ones. Like, out of melee range. Ah, crap. Alright, let's let them line up a bit more. Just gather some wood, don't mind me. There we go. Couple of hits. Knocked him down, but didn't kill him, unfortunately. We got some stuff going on over here. Big building. I want to definitely investigate that military today as well. Just maybe get lucky. Something. Alright, he died. I got the XP for it. That's kind of how I know. He got just knocked down. There we go. I don't know if I should be light swinging. I feel like heavy swings are just the way to go. All right. I don't like the, the counter swing. If I click too much, it's a little weird. All right, he's dead. This is just how we're going to do it for now. All right. They are dead. I have no more zombies attracted to me. At least that I know of. Trader Joel's is open. Sweet. All right, I can live in here, so the open cabinets can't be searched. Good to know. Kind of cool. I kind of hated searching all the cabinets, personally. Glad that there's not that many anymore. Um, refrigerator. Is it just one refrigerator now? Not a top and bottom. Wow. Cool. All right. So we block all this off. Um, like I said, there's a secret. There used to be, like, a secret floor. In here, bandages to heal and antibiotics. That's a really nice find. But I don't know if there's a secret floor in here anymore. That's creepy. Get rid of that right away. <laughs> and um, other than that, I think we're otherwise fully looted out. Right? All right. 
Not sure what this is. This is a box that we break and maybe it'll just give us random crap. That's what it seems like. And the random boxes before used to have 200 HP, so... Gas barrel. Okay, not the worst thing to find. All right, so this is fully looted, but I think, like I said, we're going to live here because of the forge. So let's drop off some stuff in the refrigerator. Flashlight. Uh, we'll keep the food and water on us. Throw these in there. We'll keep the wood, glass, bandages, and vitamins. I'm definitely going to hold on to. What sucks is we had that first aid kit before, if you guys remember. I'm going to hold on to this, too, because it's got the 15 shots on it just for backup. Um, let's go into Trader Joel's. I don't think I have any money right now. I have zero dollars, but if we start looting, we can possibly find some stuff to sell to him, and then maybe just get like a decent melee weapon to start us off. So let's get in there to complete our quest, first of all. And then see what else we can do. Cold weather. Yeah, this is super cold weather, huh? We need warmer clothes. We need to start looting. I want to go bow and arrow, but at the same time, I feel like it's super weak. Alright. Unlocked. Close it up. We don't have cold in here, which is nice. What does it want us to do? Talk to him? Is he inside? What's down here? Does he have, like... Whoa. Whoa. Isn't there loot down here? Yeah. The heck? I do want to loot his stuff. Anvil? That's super duper dope. Some ammo. Nice. This comes up behind him. I can't yoink his candle, unfortunately. That's fine, though. Can the zombies actually break into here, is the question? I don't think they can. I think we're safe unless we open that door. Alright. Is this a working workbench? Nope, destroyed. It's good to have, like, working things around you. Can I grab these? No. Quit it. Quit hitting his house. Alright, what up, Joel? How you doing, pal? Looking for something. Oh, it's you. Do you have any jobs? Ooh. Clear zombies, buried supplies, clear zombies, fetch. Oh, so we could do that type of stuff. I'm down. Can I see your inventory? That's what we'll start with. I want to see what kind of weapons he's got on him. Machete. See, that's what I'm talking about. If we can get to level 20, if we can get to $2,400. We could totally get that going. How much does this pistol sell for? 200. But it's got the ammo in it. This one sells for 300. Oh, so if we just keep stacking up else. some pistols, we might be able to sell a bunch of pistols to him. All right. Let's get to clearing some houses in the area. As much as we can. Destroyed forge. I'm glad that we found a fully crafted forge inside there. We don't even have to worry about that anymore. All right, let's let these zombies in. Or zombie. Yeah, see that that ghost hit. So I didn't even click for that hit. In case you guys are wondering what I mean by ghost hits. There we go. He's dead. All right, so. One, I need clothing to explore this area, but two, I don't want to explore, like, the most crazy of houses, you know what I mean? I just want to explore ones that look relatively easy, because we can't really get ourselves into too much yet. How's our food and water, anyway? Do we even need to eat and drink in Alpha 17, or is it bugged? Why do I feel like it's bugged? Because I haven't had any food or water issues at all. It might be. Okay, well, there we go. It's just not letting me eat it. Maybe right-click use. Okay, so maybe just using it out of your hotbar is bugged right now. I was going to say, because I haven't had any issues with it. It hasn't even popped up once, and then it did. All right, I'm glad we found this iron club, too. All right, so let's loot this. We can go to that mil... There's a military to the right of me as well, actually, now that I look at it. Ooh, wire tools. That's nice. Decent find early game. This is a shotgun messiah? <gasps> oh, maybe we should go in here. So this, oh my god. That's a Shaka Messiah headquarters is what that is. I mean, I can't say no to Shaka Messiah headquarters. Alright, let's go check it out. How do we get in, though? I mean, I guess I'm in now, right? Beverage cooler? Do you still have a top and bottom? You do. Hoping to find a wrench. Oh god. 
You snuck up on me, and I did not see that coming. Oh, great. They're falling from the ceiling. All right. I can see why you're falling from the ceiling now, now that I look up. All right, we're about to get cornered here. We attracted some zombies already. All right, maybe I'm not ready for shotgun messiah headquarters, yeah? Some would say, probably. I'm hungry, is that why my stamina's down? I just ate cat food. Not good enough for you? Not good enough for you, game? Maybe we'll find some food in the dumpster, no? All right, well, let's go check out this small military over here. Quote unquote, small. It's also warm in this region, which will warm me up a little bit. All right. Definitely need my wellness back, that's for sure. Okay, so this is not a, de is a decent sized military. We gotta careful the landmines, which we should probably just bait the zombies around into the landmines to the best of our ability, but I'm trying to be careful here and not step on one. Yeah, see, there's one right there, the hubcap landmine. Another hubcap landmine right there. Another hubcap landmine right there. And then we just sneak our way in. And then I'm gonna bait this guy out onto the hubcap landmine. And not step on it. Gee whiz, this is not easy. <laughs> ah! Don't blow up. Alright, those guys are super duper slow. I don't think there's any landmines in here. Fortunately enough. But there are a lot of zombies, so... Oh, hi. Hey there, hi there, who there. Oh, and a dog army in there. Mmm, blow up on the landmine. There we go. I'm bleeding, and I don't have a bandage. Alright. Bandage. Craft. No, no. There we go again. And we're dead. Oh... Is Alpha 17 hard, is what they're asking. Is the game gonna get any harder? I can confirm, the game has gotten harder. I can truly, indubitably tell you that the game has gotten harder. Ooh, okay, so our wellness is down again. Does our wellness keep going down? You can't give me 41 HP, seven days to die. That's just not, that's just not fair. Low health for 13. You maximize your health is low. Apply first aid to restore it. Experimental protection. You're temporarily protected from heat and cold. Elemental protection. Okay. They're giving us a short amount of elemental protection for the time being. Can we make our way back to our body is the question. I crafted a bandage. I already used the Healy bandage from before. Dear God, this is, this is not easy, huh? Our stamina is so low now. I'm glad we found a city, but I just don't think I'm ready for a city. I need to get lucky with some things to sell. I should have pulled out my pistol too and just started going to town to be honest, but then I would have attracted hundreds of zombies to my location. I'm glad that this is a little bit like harder and I still have to like learn, you know? I like that. I don't like it when it's super duper easy. Are they just all over my body still? As long as the dog's not there, I'm fine. All right, we're gonna avoid that military town then, yeah? And I like how it remembers my hot bar locations. That's nice. All right, we have plenty of ammo. Let's go do the Messiah. There's bound to be food in there. We'll find something. We're getting in there. This is, this is my golden ticket here. If we struggle in here for a little bit, like I said, we'll golden ticket, we'll get a bunch of money or something out of this. And then, or a gun or something, you know, to help us along the way. And then we can build up our base during the nighttime hours. That's my plan. We can buy stuff from here if we sold to food and water and stuff. Alright, we need armor too, so give us some of this stuff. Both the zombies are still here.
Okay, they're dead. That's locked. Hmm. What the hell's going on in there? Okay. Also locked. Looks like they're growing stuff in there. These, okay, you're locked as well. Filing cabinet. Trophy. I'm gonna scrap that, and we're gonna wear this, wear that. Just try to free up some room here. Okay, how many hits would this technically take to break back there? A lot. But, we also could... get on the drop ceiling, maybe. But I think it might just drop from here, in this room only. Yeah, it looks like it. Sometimes the drop ceilings have good things in them, like little secrets. Oh, wait. Hi. Alright. Well, that made it slightly easier. Beautiful. Alright, we're in, like, the warehouse now. Trying to sneak my way around as much as I can. Okay, see again? Uh, oh god. Oh god, we don't want to get stuck in there. It's not good. Garbage pile. But there was things in there that I might want. We don't need this anymore. We got some bullets left, so... There we go. And then next pistol. They lined up pretty good. We're getting decent damage in. Alright, now... When we swing, it shouldn't be that ghost swing, man. I only right-clicked once, seven days to die! Are they gonna jump through? They are. Alright, we'll line them up through this door. We killed one. We're doing alright. Kill two. Kill three. Here we go. Just back it up, back it up, get some stamina. Heavy hit. Kill four. And there's still this many more. So. That's a situation that we have to handle. Come on. Okay. It's knocked out. We can still back up to the front entrance. I feel like my swings go farther sometimes, and then other times they don't. Come on through, come on. Got him. Got him. Those two are down. All right, how many more are left to go? All right, two of them lined up in this hallway, and then I think I have that back storage room to myself. He's just knocked down, he's not dead. I like how they go limp when you knock them down now. These guys do have that head armor. Oh man. One more hit here. Alright, we did that flawlessly, somehow. Now we just gotta sneak around in here. And see what we can find. I don't know if we're supposed to break these, these piles. I'm pretty sure they give you good stuff, but... It doesn't seem like I should be wasting my time on those right now. I saw this back here. This is a working stiffs. Why are you gonna have a sealed working stiffs and a shock of messiah? Give me a shock of messiah crate, darn it. But I mean, if this gives us tools, it can't be that bad either. Ooh, nail gun, bicycle handlebars, and an iron shovel. Okay. I mean, that could be worse. That's that's pretty decent loot out of that. Um, especially the nail gun. Can we shoot it? We have ten nails right now. And we can also free up some room here by bringing it down to our hot bar. Go ahead and eat this real quick. There we go. And 
food goes up over time now, which is also kind of nice. This is a back door that leads out. Again, I'm still curious about this stuff. I'm pretty sure... Doesn't it just give you, like, electronic parts and stuff? Yeah, I see. Plastic and wood. Whoa, there's, like, a... Is this, like, the forging room? We're gonna have to deal with a lot of zombies again. Something telling me. So about two good hits to the head. Depending if they fall over. Shit, oh. Oh, good thing we stunned them, we stunned them. Nail gun's bugged, alright. Good to know. Got him. And now... Got him. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, this melee... I think it's the way to go. So this is like the forging room. They pour that molten... metal, I assume it is. Down into there. And then they make metal to cool it. Alright, we got a zombie here who's... Yep, sneaking around. And then one right there, too. Skirt! Oh, we're out of stamina. Don't punch me, please. Alright. Ooh, okay. Problem is, nighttime's about to roll around, and then I can't do anything in here during nighttime. There's no way. But I gotta be getting to something soon, right? This isn't it. There's gotta be more to this place. Like some back room or office or something. They still punch on the ground, but they don't do damage, which is nice. Alright, dead. Whew, okay. That just leads out. See, like, in there, it looks like there's goodies. But I think I'd have to break through this metal here. Which I don't think I can do yet. Three of them? Oh, God. Four of them. What, 1800 is going to be nighttime? Yeah, time for us to leave. Alright, so I mean, slowly but surely, we got to the back room. I hope the zombies don't respawn. Should I just... Oh, I don't have my claim block anymore, do I? Anything in here that I might have missed? This guy up here. Just a couple of nails, but like I said, the nails are bugged, so... I don't really do anything for us. Well, hopefully they don't respawn by the next time, next time I come in. Microwave untouched. We found nothing to sell. I guess we could sell... I'm not selling the nail gun. I don't really want to sell the shovel either. I don't think we found anything we can sell, really. The anvil that we're going to need back at home for forging. So let's let's zoom back to our base, make sure everything's kind of secure for the night. Not the worst day, too. We're leveling rather quickly, but... We need medical supplies. And it says that... In here low health, which means you just need to apply first aid to restore it. Can I just make a bandage to restore it? Is my curiosity. Which we'll try when we get back. We also have bicycle handlebars. We're going to start working towards the bicycle, I guess. Once we learn that. I think probably next episode I'll spend a couple minutes just looting... Oh. I didn't even... I don't even have a nail gun in my hand. That's super buggy. Over there there's that military here. It's a little smaller. Um, be a decent amount of zombies and some birds and stuff, but... I'll make a bow and arrow and stuff for those. Um, let's block the door with a chair, because YOLO. And then we can get the anvil in uh, U, which saves us a ton of clay and iron. And then I'm trying to think if there's some type of melee weapon we can make in here, but I don't think so. But we can start getting metal and then be able to craft one. Because in here, the best melee that I like is that, uh... I mean, a sledgehammer is probably insane now, but I don't see the spiked club, actually, now that I'm looking. I'm going to try the knife for size as well. Molotov cocktails, that type of stuff. But hopefully you guys enjoyed episode two. Slowly but surely grinding our way out um, as best we can. Like I said, I'm going to try to just use a normal bandage to get this bonus HP back. I don't know how that's going to work. I'm going to probably reinforce... Oh, we already had one on us. 
that doesn't count. Yeah, so we're super hungry too, which means we're probably gonna die. Uh, probably head into the city and look for some better things in the next episode. Clear that little military base on the outside and just try our best. Um, yeah, it's super duper hard. We're getting we're getting the hang of the whole melee stuff though. I'm gonna probably hit some trees outside, craft some frames in the next episode, build up the base a little bit, and then more than likely head out after that. Is it two thousand? Or is it is it twenty o'clock where I'm good? Because if so, I'm gonna smack some trees right now and try to get our base going a little bit. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like. And we'll see you guys in the next one.